National Youth Organizer Aspirant of the National Democratic Congress, Broja Jenfi, has filed a writ at the Supreme Court for the annulment of the election of new Patriotic Party Member of Parliament for Tolong, Habib Idrisu. The action is on grounds that the MP has been convicted for fraud and forgery in Australia, contrary to Article 92 2C1 of the 1992 Constitution of Ghana. The writ was filed on Monday, the 7th of November, and uh, Broja Jenfi has joined us for a quick chat on this and what exactly um, is informing this decision to go to court and the timing behind this. Mr. Jemfi, good evening and thank you for joining us on News 360. Good evening, Martin. To start with, uh, to have gone to the Supreme Court clearly means that you have some evidence, but have you already served the parties involved? Uh, yes, uh, we have served the uh, Attorney General, who is a third defendant, I've also served the Electoral Commission to the second defendant. Um, we are still struggling to serve the Honorable Member of Parliament. But I'm hopeful that uh, by tomorrow we should be able to uh, have, have you know, completed that process. Right. What do you say to critics who say this is an attempt to equalize, considering the fact that uh, there's another member of parliament on the NDC side who is being hounded with similar um, issues of either dual citizenship, but in this case, it's an issue of fraud and uh, forgery? Well, it would not be out of place for anybody to say that, and I don't see anything wrong uh, if uh, there's any attempt to reduce the numbers of the majority, just as the government has been pursuing some uh, MPs on the minority side. But we should look at the merits of this case. I mean, uh, the constitution is very clear that anybody who has been convicted of uh, crime, perjury, uh, fraud, and all of those uh, <clears throat> uh, high crimes, you, you, you don't... Uh, have to even be given opportunity to contest in the first place. You you are not qualified to contest. And so if the facts as I have presented before the Supreme Court uh, is anything to go by, then Honorable Habib uh, should not have gotten the opportunity to, to, to be elected as, as a member of parliament. So I am looking at the merit of the case. And uh, whatever anybody says, for me, it's, 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 uh, uh, it's just by the way. The, 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 the central point is that this member of parliament was convicted in Australia in Pet uh, Magistrate Court, where he was convicted on his own plea. He admitted to the crime. He admitted to have used uh, one Gideon's uh, MasterCard for illegal transactions. He forged documents and he was uh, uh, convicted on one count of forgery and 10 counts of, of fraud. So mm. clearly, he does not qualify to, to be a member of parliament. And that is the case I'm pursuing. Whatever interpretation anybody puts to it, uh, I mean, people are uh, open to, to their own suggestions and opinions. 